Collecting the data and controlling the visualization of the data are critical steps. But being able to effectively edit the data adds tremendous value to the reality capture process. Cleaning up extraneous or inaccurate points can be a tedious process, especially when working with very large data sets. An effective way of limiting the data that has to be filtered through is to turn off the data based on the scan set. Hovering over the icon in the lower right corner of the display, one of the several options is a list of scan locations. Selecting the visibility icon will turn the data from the selected scan location off in the display. In the bottom center of the interface is an option for selection. You can use a window, fence, or plane. Using visibility filters or rotating to the correct orientation will allow you to use one of these options to select the data that you want to eliminate from the project. Using clipping can also help to filter the points that are visible. The selected data will be defined by a clipping region inside or outside of the selection and based on the point of view. This approach is highly effective for selecting the data that you want to eliminate by clipping the outside of the data to turn off other elements so that they're not accidentally selected when deleted. When the cleanup of the points is finished, you can turn on the clip display to return the points that you are protecting back onto the screen. A limit box can also be used to narrow the size of the data that can be selected. The initial box can be created by dragging the sides to surround the area that you want to edit. The limit box can be resized as you need to work in different areas. And then it can be reset to restore the view of the remaining data. Points that are selected and deleted are not immediately removed from the data file itself. They are simply no longer readily accessible. An option under the Home icon allows you to restore the deleted points. This will, however, restore all of the points deleted in the session. There is an Undo and Redo function in the lower left corner of the interface, which will allow you to undo deletions immediately after they occur. When you're completing an editing session and save your data, Recap Pro will ask you if you wish to optimize the data. Setting the file with optimization marks the deleted points as deleted, but keeps them in the file where they can be recovered even after the file has been saved. To reduce the size of the file by completely removing deleted points, you will need to do a Save As operation and answer yes to permanently removing deleted points. This will create a new project with no record of the points that were originally in the file that had been deleted.